I have to use Hobart's butt to see these. We're using Hobart's butt as a stand, and Mom is about to spoil something for me. I can tell. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna hold him right here. Oh, you can tell me what's up for top movie. Oh. 2024 Oscar nominations. Oppenheimer leads the way with 13 nominations. Okay. Well, I so, thought you were looking at a list. Oh, no. Okay, I got nervous. I think that Lily Gladwin, is that her name, should win for, um, Killers of the Flower Moon. Obviously. Just get to the list. Yeah, get to the how list. Do I, how do I get this job of writing BS until just 7,000 worth of BS? They like, always do that. I know. Well, exactly. How do I get the job? 15 minutes ago for me before I scroll past seven of these ads. All right, I got one. Here's the okay, best picture. Noms. American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, The Zone of Interest, Okay, I'm not going to lie. I think Godzilla Minus One deserves to be on this list. I do. I think it's better than some of these. Um, Killers of the Flower Moon is not on it. It is. Oh, there it is. I missed it. You're okay. right. No, out of that, it's going to be Oppenheimer. I don't think a lot of these deserve to be there, but hey, what do I know? I've never even heard of the zone of interest. Best Directing. Uh, Justine Trey, Anatomy, Anatomy of a Fall, Martin Scorsese, Killers of the Far Moon, Christopher, oh, we got Martin and Chris going together. They're going to give it to Chris. The other ones don't matter. They're going to give it to Christopher Nolan because they love him because he's Mr. Cinema. But so is Martin Scorsese and he's been running the game and he's respected. Um, let me look at, no, I'm afraid of the Nolanites, but I'm not just saying it because I'm afraid of the Nolanites. I, I do. I think he should probably win Best Directed for Oppenheimer. What about best actor? Do you think Cecilian Murphy Here's should, win it? Killian. should win it? Killian. Killian. Oh, Murphy should get it? Yeah. I heard that Maestro's very good. I have not seen it. Best actor in a leading role, Bradley Cooper for Maestro. Coleman Domingo. I love him. He's a sweetie. He's awesome. I'm glad that people are acknowledging him now. Paul Giamatti. Love him. Killian Murphy. Oppenheimer. Jeffrey Wright's nominated! <coughs> Go, Jeffrey! Oh my god, you cute Bernard from Westworld. Oh, I like him too. Cutie, Commissioner Gordon. I love Jeffrey Wright, but you're not going to win. But good for you, Jeffrey. Well, your Lily Gladstone made it from Killers of the Flower Moon. You said she, she should have. win. Best actress in the leading role, Annette Benning. Okay, wait. Okay, we have my first anger. Where's Margot Robbie? Where's Margot Robbie? Is this a joke? This is a joke. No, it doesn't look like she's there. This is a joke. Not nominated? She shouldn't win. Like, she, I mean, honestly. I mean, I don't think they would have given it to Margot. I think that it would have went again. No, this is bull. This is bull. I'm sorry to all the other actresses. I'm sure you were great. But it should be Lily Gladstone winning for Killers of the Flower Moon. Only... I don't even know if, I don't know, her or Margot Robbie should be winning Actress of the Year. And the truth is, you're not going to give it to Margot Robbie up against Killers of the Flower Moon because of the subject matter, and she's not getting a fair deal because it's Barbie. And Point it's blank period. because uh, America Ferrara is... She should be nominated. Her best supporting she's great. actress. She's great in it. In Barbie. Right, but Barbie won't be taken seriously. We're not going to take her that seriously, but because this, that's what I really thought was going to happen. Not saying that Lily Gladstone shouldn't win. But I'm just saying this is what happens. I'm not saying that the subjects aren't serious and, and, and important. I'm saying mm, this is why superhero movies aren't taken seriously. This is why other things aren't taken seriously. Because we go, um, we're not going well, to get to Well, it is up for adapted screenplay. Oh my god, Sterling K. Brown is nominated for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. Go Sterling K. Brown. I love him. Robert De Niro, Killers of Our Moon. You are good. You don't deserve to win. Robert Downey Jr., Oppenheimer. They nominated Ryan Gosling, but they didn't nominate Margot Robbie? The irony. I think you guys missed the whole point of the movie. Wow. Mark Ruffalo's nominated! I can't believe this. This is, um... This is a prime example of... We can't have Barbie... That be taken seriously. So... This, and that's the thing. That just tells people, as long as you make it about serious subject matter, it does not matter if your product's good. 
Not saying that the product isn't good, but that happens a lot. The best actor in a supporting role. Um, I cannot believe they did that. I cannot believe that they have Barbie nominated in categories for acting, but not Margot Robbie. That is the most insulting thing I think I've ever seen. Oh my god, and Greta Gerwig's not nominated? That's a snub too. For, for directing? Wow. We got it. We got it, Hollywood. Thanks a lot. Jerks. This is that's so dirty. Do who do I think's gonna win Best Actor? Hobart, your butt, Hobart, your butt. Stay still. They're gonna give it to Robert Downey Jr. They're gonna go. You were you were Iron Man forever, so you didn't get because we don't care and we don't take that seriously. And those movies are a joke. And remember when you were blacklisted from Hollywood and none of us cared about you? This is gonna be a big comeback to have your Oscar. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna give it to him. They're gonna give it to Robert Downey. And that's fine, I like Robert Downey Jr., but that's not, it, it's political is what I'm saying. But good for Mark Ruffalo. We got two Avengers getting nominated. Ryan Gosling getting nominated and not Margot Robbie is a crime. And he was really good. I liked him, I liked him, but I love Sterling K. Brown. Best actress in a supporting role, Emily Blunt Oppenheimer. I think she'll get it. I don't think they're gonna give Barbie anything. Jodie Foster's up. Yeah, I saw that. I, I... I, but they're going to give it to Emily Blunt or, or America Ferreira. Should, America Ferreira should. Uh, how come no, How come there's no supporting actress from Killers of the Flower Moon? They were great. Okay, but I think that's going to go Emily Blunt or... I think Robert De Niro's in there, isn't he, for supporting actor? Yeah, and he doesn't deserve it. He wasn't that good. He was like Foghorn Leghorn with cyberpunk goggles on. Best Writing, Adapted Screenplay, American Fiction, Barbie, oh, again, nominated, but not good enough for everything else. Oppenheimer, Poor Things, The Zone of Interest. Uh, we'll give it to Oppenheimer. Best Writing, Original Screenplay. Oh, should I explain what that is? Adapted Screenplay is, like, from a book or a, mo or a book or another, uh, something that already exists. Original is an original story that they wrote. Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, May, December, Past Lives. I can't tell you which one of those I think will win. God, this is a boring year for the Oscars. Uh, especially after last year. Like, um, never mind. Best Animated Feature, oh, we already know. The Boy and the Heron's gonna win. I'm not even gonna read the rest. I'm sorry, guys. Best Documentary Feature Film. I don't know. I haven't gotten to watch documentaries. Best International, Best International Feature Film. I don't see Godzilla minus one here. I don't know why we're snubbing Godzilla so hard. Is it because you didn't want it to affect Oppenheimer or... Best Cinematography. This is a crime. This is a real crime. Oh. You're not going to put... Once it, why are they Barbie in Best Cinematography? That was one of the most creative things I've seen. I'm surprised she's not They're screwing that. Greta Gerwig. I was surprised she wasn't in Best Cinematography. It's, got, it's gonna go to Oppenheimer either way, but like I said, to be nominated, to be acknowledged, and you don't have critical. That set looked fabulous to me. That, right. that Barbie Bull. set. Best costume design: Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oh Napoleon, Oppenheimer, Poor Things. I think honestly, do you guys, uh, do you guys want me to be honest? I think it's Napoleon. For which one? For costume. And if anything, if anybody, oh, I could see that. if anybody wants to say anything, including Oppenheimer or Barbie or anything, was Napoleon might not have been great because we get it, we we didn't market that correctly, and it it wasn't the greatest movie ever made. It wasn't, but you cannot deny that that was one of the most beautiful moves that, movies I've ever seen in my life. Uh the costuming, the sets, all of it, and then you got to remember Ridley Scott actually makes that stuff. Same thing with Barbie, like that stuff was actually being built and stuff, but no. I think, I think, personally, including Oppenheimer, Napoleon should win that for best costume design. Over Barbie, over Napoleon, or, or over, uh, what did I just say? Over Oppenheimer, for sure, Napoleon should win best costume, in my opinion. Best makeup and hairstyling, Golda, Maestro, I gotta watch this Maestro, Oppenheimer, Society of the Snow, best makeup and hairstyling and we don't have Barbie in it? Best makeup and hairstyling, and you don't have Barbie I in it? I saw that, too. I was surprised. What? Let's shaft Barbie, I guess. Oscars? 
Best original song. Let me guess, you're gonna cram that that effing Billie Eilish song down my throat, which is good in the movie, but annoying everywhere else. The fire inside. I'm just Ken. I'm just Ken got an Oscar nom, but the but Greta Gerwig doesn't. For and 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 this is absurd. It never went away. And what was I made for? Barbie, Billie Eilish, and they'll give it to her. If they give it to I'm just Ken, I'll die. They might solely based on the fact that it was like a musical number and I tell people all the time, musicals are hard and people don't understand how hard that is. But if we're talking about song, yeah, they're going to give it to Billie Eilish. Because they're they're going to give it to Billie Eilish because they're going to want the young crowd to start watching the Oscars because it's dying. So they're going to go, oh, look, Billie Eilish won. That's why they've dragged Eminem out before. And that's why I thought the Will Smith thing they were happy about secretly because it got everybody looking at it again. And now everyone's going to turn in this year and go, who's going to get punched in the mouth this time? And no one's going to do anything about it at our work event. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but they're going to go here, Billie Eilish. That way, 15-year-old girls will watch it now and then they'll grow up watching the Oscars, kind of like I did with, with Lord of the Rings. Uh, best production design. Barbie deserves to win that. Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, or Napoleon. I guess Oppenheimer, too. I, I'm not taking anything away from Oppenheimer. But what I'm saying is, when you got, like, a way more amount of people and way more things in your shot and way more... I'm not taking anything away from Christopher Nolan, but I do. I think Barbie deserves production design or Napoleon. I really do. Best film editing. Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer. I'm sure they're going to give that to Oppenheimer. Best sound, that should probably go to Oppenheimer. Best visual effects, the creator. Godzilla minus one. Glad you got in for effects and you had a quarter of the budget of anything else out there right now. You had a, you, I, I, they shafted Godzilla. Godzilla deserved more. You guys did him dirty. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Mission Impossible, and Napoleon. Mm. It should go to Napoleon. It should go to Napoleon. Napoleon should should win that. But I could see them giving it to Godzilla to go whatever. But then I could see them not respecting Godzilla. I could see them going, we're really not going to give that an award, are we? Yeah, I could see them doing that for sure. But I think it should be Napoleon. Is that it? Is that all we got? Wow, they really did Greta Gerwig dirty. I can't believe they did that. I cannot believe they did that to her. It's like obvious. Ryan, They missed the entire point of the thing. Like, Ryan Gosling gets nominated and Margot Robbie doesn't. And she deserved to be nominated. I don't care what anybody says. She was fantastic in that. That was some, that was great. Like, what are we talking about here? Doesn't make sense. Actually, it does. Let's not take her seriously. And let's just put these ones up because their movies said something more important that I think Barbie was saying probably one of the most important things. But let's be real here. No one cares about women. <laughs> No one cares about little girls growing up <laughs> and, if they, and, and and what that means. And that movie was, I, I don't think it was, the way people cried about it was crazy. But I, th I thought they handled things really well in a funny way of going like, yeah, welcome, welcome to the world. And I thought it was really, well, I thought it was really funny. But, you know, people get butt hurt real easy. And I say Barbie didn't have serious messages in it, then you're saying that. <laughs> Once again, in the world women having things happen to them and not being able to do certain things because of things is, is not important subjects and that bothers me that's messed up but it bothers me even more that Greta Gerwig got shafted she should have been nominated I don't know about winning but she should have been nominated for directing and she should have been nominated for what was the other one that we got best makeup and hair doesn't go to Barbie right <laughs> that's ludicrous that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard I don't care what awards show you're at right that's right we can be at the... Hair and makeup? It's got Barbie all over it. What are we talking about? That's what I mean. I'm like, hair and makeup. And Barbie's not nominated? Those are the most iconic... I agree with you there. They recreated... All they re the Barbies. They recreated them. every stitch. It was amazing. It was amazing. How it was. can you say they don't deserve to be nominated at least? Yes, Whatever. I agree. Oh my God, I knew I'd be mad at the Oscars, but I didn't know. I didn't think they'd be that stupid.